Okay, I'll just I've started recording now, so I'll obviously trim it later. <laughs> but yeah, so twenty fourth yeah. of October. Who have we got? FDS. I've never actually seen this guy play, but he's quite ready. He's like, he's always here with like advice and things on the Goat Format Discord. Have you played him before? I've not played against him ever, but I talk to him a lot. Um, and if he's playing, well, his recent performance was pretty good in the Format Library Championship. Out of I didn't watch many games, but I watched like the final games because I happened to find them. And um, he made the least misplays out of I would say the top four in that tournament. So he had a good performance, and I think he can ride his momentum. But um, not like a super top pick for me. Yeah, he's definitely not an old either. I don't think he's too like active for that. No, he's been playing since like he's been playing since like um, 2008 or like way older. He's like an extreme old head. And he's been around on format library since like 2017 or earlier. He's been here for like most of the revival. So he's been here for quite a long time. Okay, that's good. Well, the next the next one is a uh, an old one as well, isn't he? SD killer. Isn't he? Um, am I mistaken thinking he's part of Scully's team? I think. Oh, sorry. I have no idea who he is, honestly. Well, I think he was. Uh, he's he was the most uh, one of my most recent winners. I can't remember if because the last tournament was top four pick, um, go to worlds and not just the top two. So I don't know if he's he benefited from being in amongst that lower bracket. But you know, still a very good player nonetheless. I mean, obviously that goes without saying, right? Everyone's. What, what do you mean by what do you mean by lower bracket? Well, I mean because like he won the tournament, right? Did he? Okay, I couldn't remember. Oh, wait, winner, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he won the entire thing with Gear Free Agro. Um, it was a pretty dominant performance, but I would need to see more gameplay. I mean, Agro is kind of it's kind of tough to really make a lot of egregious misplays with that deck. And I think that a lot of Agro wins are like usually extreme high rolls. So if anyone's going to bring Agro into the event, I certainly don't think that it's going to be um, very well poised because people know the ins and outs and tricks to counter aggro um and they essentially need to roll extremely high in order to beat such a stacked skilled field with um aggressive decks because they're kind of one dimensional so in that sense i feel like they don't really have odds to win by playing that in this field we could bring something else i have no idea yeah that's the thing isn't it we can I mean we don't really know what anyone's going to be bringing there's a i mean there's enough people here uh, we don't even know who's going to show up either. That's the other thing. There's some people who've qualified that inevitably won't show up. Although you'd hope they would, but it's not. There is um, a list. Of, there is a list of all 46 people who have registered in the uh, in that backroom channel. There's a Excel list. I'll PM it to you right now. Okay, we'll go through that as well then. Um, Viffer, Viffer, he was uh, yeah runner up. Uh, I can't really remember what he's done though like yeah he's playing burn he plays burn a lot on the ladder i've played against him a few times um his deck i would consider to be kind of suboptimal but burn is burn and i think burn is extremely good in this field anything playing ojama trio right now is going to be able to farm chaos generally the chaos player has to be really prepared and um not misplay whatsoever and have some good side picks too um a lot of people are very inexperienced when facing burn. And when you're playing a deck as weak to Ojama Trio as Chaos Turbo, those cracks start to show. Um, you need to kind of take all of your spots correctly and not play too many weak monsters. So um, his recent finish in the tournament against a lot of, against a heavily Chaos Field, Control and Turbo, probably could be counted to his use of Ojama Trio and people not knowing how to counter it. But this field is going to be very well tested and more experienced with the card in general. They're going to know all the counterplays. They're going to know about Borgeki breaking their own tokens. They're going to know about um, not playing more than one flip and just draw passing so they can summon chaos. They're going to know about, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. And I'm definitely yeah. expecting some side deck picks like um, Hallowed Life Barrier as well. 
So it stands to see how well a true nade list burn deck could do. I don't think he's playing any true nades in that deck, but I could be wrong. Um, he might modify his deck, but I've also seen him playing Chaos on the ladder. Um, so you might switch to that. You never know. Sorry, go ahead. I know I talked a lot. No, it's okay. Like I was just going to say, I, I haven't really done, I didn't really refresh myself on what everyone's playing, but you're totally right. It's that Jinzo and, to uh, Jinzo and Tonic style deck. That with the pandas and yeah. stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's more traditional earth burn. It, it's a panda list. Okay. Well, um, Lucas Gustafson. No, wait, Gustafson. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't watch. I didn't watch uh, GFC ten. So what did he play? Oh man, now you put me to the test. Um, what if I if I just quickly? Tap I mean, he out? was he was your pick. To, he was your pick. Who you wanted to win, man? <laughs> only for, for his personality. I mean, because like we get on really well. He's like um, my commentator buddy. Um, oh, cool. So like I, I spend a lot of time talking to him, and he's I think he is quite funny. <laughs> Uh, but looking at what he's got here, it looks like a standard Chaos Dragon Turbo sort of build. In fact, I'll bring it up on the tab right now. That's what you. He, he oh, he played Turbo. Yeah. In fact, I could probably go um, through all the uh, the coverage on this video. So this is what Viper was playing, and then this is what uh, SD Killer was playing. Okay. Um, which brings us to. Well, I don't know. Like, I mean, if I'm being honest with myself, I don't think Lucas has the best chance, but he's the person who wants to win. <laughs> you know, there's well, a difference yeah, between who you is, think's going to win and who you want to win, right? The thing is, for having a consistent champ chance at winning, um, rather than relying on, like, a high roll, like... So Chaos Turbo can certainly win the event if you have enough, like, hot hands to win the event. I think that Chaos Turbo certainly can win. It's not... Uh, it's not outside of the realm of possibility that someone pulls like absurd hands all tournament and just crushes everyone with that deck. But I still think of it as kind of feast or famine. I recently play tested it. And I feel like you're going to lose to yourself too much to have a consistent shot at winning through like skill tested means. Um, in addition to that, that is probably the deck or one of the decks that people are going to try to beat. So I think he's going to have to move off that. Um, uh, yeah, if he really course. wants to have a very good shot. No, yeah, I, I, I agree. <laughs> um, then that brings us to GFC 9. We'll go backwards. That's when Carl... No, yeah, Carl won. And Krebs 619, who I never saw before this tournament, and I haven't seen him since. <laughs> um, maybe he's competed, but he's not like a uh, like a personality on the Discord or anything like that. You know, like you don't... I don't, you know, know him per se. Um, Krebs is quite old school. He hangs out with um, a lot of old SJC players, uh, like in real life. He knows them on Facebook, and they do like warring and stuff. So he's he's not as um, he's not as uh, active on these Discord servers, right? But he does do a lot of like money match activity and stuff like that. But um, he's a pretty competent player. You know, all those old players are gonna have all those tools. Uh, that they got those fundies from playing in SJCs back in the day, and those were probably those those tournaments were like way more stacked than anything that we qualified through, right? They had to be like super skillful. Um, so I think they're a bit rusty, but Krebs in particular isn't because he's been playing Go format a lot. Um, so in terms of the SJC pool, uh, I don't know if he has any tops in SJCs, but like in terms of the pool of like the more old school players, I feel like. He's probably one of the more solid picks to win because he has more experience with the modern meta. And then Carl, I would probably say Carl is like the biggest fan favorite I have ever witnessed win. Like everyone went absolutely insane when Carl won. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's been a long time coming for Carl. Um, he had a deck that was like, so in FLC3, which was the one that I won with Drainburn, he had a deck that was poised to beat everything except for my deck. And he made it all the way to grand finals. Um, and then I 3 0'd him because he wasn't prepared for Drain Burn. I, no, I 3 0 1'd him with, uh, there was a tie. But yeah, I 3 0'd him. And like that really stung for him. And people yeah, really man. were really hurting from that because I was playing kind of a scumbag deck and they really wanted him to get that dub. So uh, I'm glad that he got his invite. I'm glad that he finally got his win. And he was just playing, you know, he's playing Chaos Control, No Frill. It was a really refined deck list and he played very well. 
that's a um, th that's actually just something I wanted to bring up quickly. Who should be here but isn't? Um. Oh, you're gonna cut out parts of the video, right? Can I say? Well, who I, I want to say is who I want to say is well gone mad, but I don't know if they want that on their YouTube channel. No, that's <laughs> okay. You can say well gone mad, but like. I was thinking more of less of um yeah you mean people that like couldn't qualify right yeah people that couldn't qualify rather than uh, but yeah no that's obviously a big one as well well gone mad people want him uh, yeah anyway. um but like you know it's the so same with ACP personal, right he has his fans out there like they want personal him. wants personal wants are like really skilled players that didn't make it or what but who didn't qualify, as in who didn't make it in terms of, like, winning? But who's good? But who's good Which and who deserves win? to be on there? Hmm. Um. Let me think. Um. I'm not on uh, the Format Library Discord. Maybe I should join it to look at the user list, because um, I, I think of quite a few people in there. Um. There's a player named Wow Wink or Wumbo. You've seen him around. He's like, he's a very low key but uh, great player and a pretty innovative builder who pioneers a lot of tech. Uh, definitely, I would think um, he could take it. So Wow Wink or Wumbo from DGZ, if you guys know him. And then um, Winus Gridor. I don't know if you were around when he was active but um he's from chris's team detox um another pretty skilled player um actually s part of the reason that we have the team right now may be due to him because he was in contact with the people from dueling book when they were building the site and he got goat format implemented i think but that's not relevant to the video you can cut that out but yeah why is gridor um i don't think he plays anymore but he's definitely probably a contender uh if he were to qualify um Cut out this part. Cut out a lot of this dead air because I'm still thinking of names. But... It's okay. I'm not planning on cutting anything out, to be honest. <laughs> like, uh, I'm going to put, okay. like, at the beginning, like, when I've put, oh, yeah, we're recording now. I'm going to cut that part out. And I'm, you know, I might cut a bit at the end. But all the stuff that you're saying, it's not like, um, you know, this is just kind of like a yeah, podcast kind unpolished. of thing. So, like, there's no, you know, you can talk about, like, all World Gone Mad or ACP or anyone who's been, like, um, I, I don't mind at all. Um, yeah, I mean, well, they they technically did qualify, like they yeah, met they the did. conditions to qualify, and they're both really so. skilled players as well. As is um, Serenity too, like Serenity Ridia. Um, yeah, and... Serenity is my biggest fan. Uh, disappointed that they weren't able to make it. I would love to see what they brought. Yeah, so would I. But you I mean, know, they were always, they were always shouting me out and uh, cheering me on and asking for my lists and collaborating with me. Uh, quite a good friend of mine, so unfortunate that for some circumstances that won't be brought up in this video, they're not participating. Yeah, and also, my big two people who can't compete, but, well, because they didn't get the results, is Scully, for a start. Like, my God, he should definitely have... Oh, wow, ready. really? I thought he, he... Didn't he win something with some, like, aggro list, or did he just talk? That I don't, talk, I don't right? think he's... I don't think he's qualified. <laughs> Like, oh no, he top fived with that uh with that like new take on aggro a few tournaments ago. I mean, look, Scully doesn't play any of these tournaments. He's always commentating. He only had time to play one, other times he was commentating or busy, so he has there weren't really many chances for him to qualify. If he actually seriously entered all these events, he'd already be in. Yeah, I have no doubt either. But like he's obviously sacrificed that to host everything. Um uh, and yeah, which is who, who so else? yeah, which is cool on his part. He's really uh, expanding the scene. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, Jinzo and Tonic as well, who incidentally played in the same GFC as um, Scully. Yeah, uh, he top three. He, yeah, he narrowly top, missed he top three. And like that's the only GFC he's played. So like that kind of makes me think. Was not was not a big fan of his deck, but his channel is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean regardless of what you think of the deck like this obviously got its criticism and it's like 41 cards or like you know there are things wrong with him but like i know him in real life and i go to locals with him and i know he's a really solid player he's oh really con yeah he constantly wins <laughs> outright and I'm you like, guys are in the uk yeah in the uk sneak attack gaming um oh well, he, he always wins locals he or, like, like constantly wins locals. he 
yeah, I play with his locals and granted like the average skill level at the locals is not what it is online because it wouldn't be. But um, he's the only person in that locals that can consistently beat me for sure. Or like we've played, he's we've played. I've played like maybe five or six uh, locals with him, and he's won. I think he's won every single one that I've attended. I think he's lost a couple <laughs> when I'm not in there. But yeah, he wins every single time, and he's such an underrated player because everyone just yeah, sees I his have... YouTube channel, sees like all the fun decks, and then yeah, like assumes he's really bad, but he's not. He's really really good. Yeah, I had no idea. Um he never talks about that so he's pretty humble i've never seen him even mention that he's such a crusher in real life he's such a nice guy yeah i know that's the other thing like no one everyone kind of sleeps on it and everyone like no one really takes his opinion seriously but he is a really really solid player <laughs> like when he did i he did identify um the right metagame to play the burn deck in so there is that yeah, okay. I just well, wish he, I just wish he chopped it down a bit more and cut some stuff, but that's just personal, it's just personal grievances. I can't even build a good cat list, so I shouldn't be talking. I every time I try to build one, I say that it's bad and I delete it. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess we'll, like we'll move on from that now though, because like we've been talking about who should be here for like ten minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You may want to trim it down a bit. I don't know. Uh, I'm yeah, I might, I might not. You know, it depends how much. I, I told Scully I would do a video, but like, in the end of the day, uh, I might just do a video and then say, here is a podcast after the video. If yeah, you that's want to a stick good around idea. sort of you thing. Have not, I have not seen a video from you in a long time. I was watching your videos because I usually watch all the videos on uh, that yeah. channel. Yeah. Um, I'm taking a break at the moment. I've come back specifically because Scully's asked me to make one. Um, okay. And I'm not gone for good. I plan to come back um probably in january the thing is is that um i don't know i really got burnt out by doing a weekly schedule <laughs> um yeah i'm job. just i just started up i just started freaking uh a, a twitch stream and i've been doing that well i did i've only done that twice but like the second time i was like oh fuck i wish i didn't schedule this i really don't want to uh, do this today but then i ended up doing it anyway <laughs> yeah exactly but like it kind of sucked the energy out of me yeah just I, knowing that it was coming up and like i had to take a complete goat format detox as well like i had to stop talking uh like about goat format stop attending the locals etc i literally had to stop everything but now i'm kind of ready to come back to playing at least how come long... you were just like tired of it <sighs> yeah it's you gear man that's how it always works right like it, everyone i've i and everyone i've ever known has always gone through phases of like you of like being into yeah it and then i mean having to take i've a break. quit this since 2017 when we started doing goat again i've quit this like 12 times and i've left all these servers and come back and quit and come back and said i'm never playing again and so i'll come back and i'll just play casually and i'll okay i'll enter that tournament or i'll just sit here you know <laughs> yeah this is why yeah, i'm like the worst bother. i'm i probably the one who's quit the most and come back so I'll quit for like five days. Yeah, exactly. That's why I said to you, like the last thing I told you before you quit last time is that you'll be back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, IMZ1. He, he, now, IMZ1 is notable for the fact that he's been a huge donator to the prize fund of Worlds, I think. I think he's put in like $100. So he's a cool guy. That's cool. Yeah, he, like he's another one of these people who like deserves to win. And he's always... Um, He's always like defended like goatformat.com in general from like all the haters. So like you know I have a lot what of respect haters? For him. What are they hating? Well, you know, you just occasionally get negative people. But like that's when he like props up. Kinda of, like spooky. <laughs> Every time there's like occasionally a negative people they'll just crop up and be like, go away. <laughs> you mean on like YouTube comments or in the server? Oh, more in the server. Like, YouTube comments are generally quite nice. Um, but, like, it's a, di a Discord server, and that's, like, inevitable again. Like, the goformat.com server has, like, over a 1,000. Wait, let me even check. It might even be over 2,000. Um... Yeah, I know. It's super huge. I don't, I'm don't. i not up to date on all the stuff that happens in here. I'm rarely in these servers, and 
right now I'm on an act I'm on a break from using Discord normally because I'm focusing on like school and stuff. Yeah. So I really been out of the loop. Yeah, two thousand five hundred followers on the Discord, so you guys. I've only joined something. here to do the tournament, and then I'm gonna deck out once it's done. Deck out. Because <laughs> uh, I have to focus on other stuff, but yeah, I haven't been up to date on everything that's happening. I don't know who these haters are. Not 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 massive. Well, we don't haters, have to discuss like, them. Yeah, the haters no, make exactly. Me Back on track. Uh, Everfall. Now he's like what we were saying. Like I really enjoyed his deck that he won with, the one with double Mobius and uh, uh, Azura Priests. Uh, in fact, I might be able to get his deck up. There wasn't any coverage for GFC 9, but... Um, I know the deck. I mean, it was different, but I don't think it was well-poised for the minigame that he played it in. So, I don't know if the results are necessarily connected. In my opinion, I don't necessarily know if those results are connected to the deck construction. Um, Two theoretical things are that Basura is a huge tempo dump he had a huge tempo bomb against uh chaos turbo unless you happen to have the snatch combo and that's th i mean the uh creature swap combo and that's thwarted by uh by geki break or pwwb and makes you go extremely minus mm. and then there's the fact that mobius uh turbo has pretty much cut all of the traps that they're playing that aren't chainable so it, it can't really get any notable value right now there's not too much that it's hitting, like even Mirror Force. Oh uh, yeah, today been, it's not uh, very good, but at the time it was decent. Oh, maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't remember exactly what the landscape was, but wasn't there a lot of Chaos Turbo? Uh, yeah, I think so, but... Wasn't that, wasn't that after IMZ won one a tournament? No, 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 this or was is it before. before. This is GFC 7 we're getting into now. But... Okay. But like, Wait, uh, which, which chronological order is this? Did Everfall win first, or did uh, IMZ? Yeah, win sorry, first? we're going anti-chronological order. I'll quickly, um, right. I'll just quickly link. So you this page. is, but this is after IMZ won one, right? This is no, this is before. This is before. Oh, this well, is before. IMZ one came second place. Uh, there's GFC seven, and then I'll quickly link you. Well, you've got the world. So was that actually? Was that actually before that? Like jazz style turbo had been popularized, or what? don't know <laughs> to be honest like, let me let me take so a peek at now. the uh, let me take a peek at the field real quick okay well this this part i'm probably gonna cut out <laughs> or i might not again like i'm not sure oh no second place second place is second place is Silski, and this is when he uh debuted turbo hmm so yeah, I guess it, I guess it was better than I guess was there a lot of like chaos warriors and shit. Oh yeah, of course. That's when like um, chaos warriors was still the the rage. Okay, God, we are yeah, going way back that. now. Like Jesus, this is, I can't. I was like completely. I was completely. Uh, I was completely misinformed about the meta during that. So that was when uh, Soski used the turbo before it became like super popular. Potentially, I wouldn't want to commit either way to saying what was popular because I cannot remember for the life of me. It's been so long now. Um, but that being said, that kind of doesn't lead us nicely onto Suski. What, he's going to play Baggio Control? <laughs> oh yeah, I just want to say before we get onto him, I was, I was wrong. Uh, Mobius looks fine in that field. Uh, this is before all that turbo sheen in a good, so... Yeah, no. um, I take back what I said about Everfall's deck. I take it back. I, I mean, wasn't playing then, so I have an excuse. Anyway, um, Soski, I mean, yeah, he's a very consistent player. He has great results. Uh, he plays a variety of decks. I don't know what he's going to use. Um, yeah, he's quite I hope it's Baggio. I hope it's Baggio control is what he plays because I think that deck deserves a bit of a spotlight more than on his YouTube channel. Well, that's what like I was saying as well. What? Wait, what? Serious? Wait, hang on. Sorry. You actually think Badger Control's good? I think there's some underrated cards in there. I think. Uh, okay. I think no. I think there are a few cards that are slept on. Enraged Muka Muka and Dummy Goal in my life. <laughs> Fucking Enraged Muka Muka. And I think I think Earth is really untapped outside of like Burn. I think it's untapped. There are a few other Earth concepts that you could uh, assemble. That right now the meta is kind of oppressive and streamlined, so it's going to be hard to use them. But there are a few. I, yeah, but like. I still think he should go for Chaos just because I personally want him to do well. 
you know i like i personally want him to get to the finals because he's another person i really respect god i've got so many got so many buddies in like go for i've just realized <laughs> so many personalities that i want to do well well the question is should he go for chaos or something that he thinks is an advantage against chaos definitely the latter 100 percent, because um i this is another like um result of reading the meta right like um in the same way that the mensch or eight of well we know him to be acp by now um like did that gravekeeper's side thing and it just completely wrecked everyone like he needs i think the winner of worlds has to do something akin to that like um have something that just completely shreds <laughs> what everyone else is going to go for and that's the yeah idea. i have my own opinions on that i'll get to that later but okay uh, we will say Suski definitely has a great shot i think that he's too i think that his skill level is too high for him to go with um turbo this event i think you should go for something a bit more balanced uh if chaos then control if anything well yeah i mean we're not going to know until the day he won't tell anyone i don't think that's that's what i think he should go for something control or something we've got um dale Bolito. yeah dale is gonna be super smart in his deck construction um He's definitely going to know how to counter the meta. I think he talks with a few other really good players in private and discusses this stuff. His meta analysis videos are pretty on point on the YouTube channel. Um, overall, I'm going to expect a really strong deck against the field from him. I'm going to expect a strong showing. I really hope Dale wins as well as Lucas. Uh, but like Dale, um, for different reasons, he's been like teaching me a lot. He's taken so much time to one-to-one -to -one coach me on how to be better because i want to did be you better. ever record videos of that or no because i thought I, that was for a series i did yeah and then i got completely burnt out because that's what killed it it was i was doing my regular videos i was learning with dale i was streaming with dale and then it all just collapsed i have still got those videos though and i will release them at some point all right that's great yeah, like, I would love to actually see some coaching plan. That sounds super valuable. Yeah, uh, it is. And like, um, in fact, there's some coaching he's done to me off screen as well, which again, I wish I had recorded. But of course, the more I record with Dale, and if I want them to be, you know, in a series, the more editing that it requires, or I could just go down the road of release all of it like I plan to do with this video. But then, you know... I'm starting to compromise on my video's quality, and then it's all just a vicious cycle. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I can understand that, but I mean, uh, on the discussion, Dale is Dale. Dale In terms is of Dale. the type of card game we play, as opposed to like the newer style of Yu-Gi-Oh, um, he's in the he's obviously in the conversation with the greatest of all time, um, him and Lazaro. So I do think that yeah, he's definitely up there, obviously. And whatever deck he brings is going to be super smart and unexpected. Or not unexpected, but smartly teched. Yeah, for sure. Um, hello, Marcus. I do vaguely remember him from GFC5, but I think this is like... I think GFC5 might have been my first tournament, if you know what I mean. First time like running it and or commentating it with Scully. Um, there are so many people I've met over the years on Yu-Gi-Oh! websites using the name Marcus. I mean, it's the real name, but like there are so many Marcuses that I couldn't even uh, give you an idea if I haven't talked to him. And I don't think I've met this guy. Okay. Just so another Marcus yeah. in the Yu Gi Oh world. If he wins, so I, then, I, well, <laughs> imagine if this guy wins. That would be in the her that would be hysterical. Um, delinquent. I used to be a huge fan of Delinquent when he was playing Burn that, and then Smoke Screen side decks and usually like kind of the creative decks that you tend to play and like Serenity times to play like he's in that yeah he was category. doing heavy slump and stuff yeah exactly but now he just plays Burn and that's less fun so yeah I mean I think he's realized which is what I've come to realize is that um, if I had to pick if I had to pick like a mechanically favorite deck in like the majority of matchups in this format it would be some style of burn adapted to the metagame. Um, so the reason he plays that is I think that he's a super smart deck builder and he's has a lot of ingenuity. 
And he's done a lot of interesting concepts with like Necro Valley to have big bodies and stuff alongside his burn cards. So I'm interested to see what he brings. It's definitely going to be something uh, strange. Yeah, I will be. I will. Yeah, as much as like I've uh, not been following up recently in the context of worlds, I'll definitely be keeping tabs of what he's doing. Yeah, like you say, you're not excited that he's using burn. I'm excited that he's using burn because I've made several burn decks, and his burn decks are so different from anything I've ever thought of making. Uh, in general, I disagree with his style of deck building. I've had arguments with uh, with him before on how to like refine a heavy slump deck. Because you've seen my version and his version, they're so radically different that they're like not comparable at all. But uh, he gets results, and yeah, he's like really creative. Not not a top pick to. Um, well, I mean, I, I have no idea what he's going to do. Um, if he's going to win, it's going to be off deck building um, and something that people aren't expecting and get totally blown out by. Yeah, for sure. Um, I've just realized that I didn't even post any of the <laughs> the lists on there. I know, I know his, I know his lists though. I know, but yeah, but start for the for it. the purposes of the of the video. Like, um, there's the Linquins deck. That was Lowell Marcus's deck. It's three Azura Priest in a Goat Control deck. <laughs> Can you link that in our uh, PM? Yeah, of course. Linquins. I want to look at Marcus's list. Uh, what's that? Yeah, winner. So low Marcus should be yeah. The three is zero priest one. Okay, so my internet is terribly slow, so this is going to take a minute to load the pictures. That's okay. Uh, in the meantime, I will load up the uh, the other decks that we're going to talk about, probably. Wow, he's he's not playing any swaps in that? That's very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Five he... spirits without swap. God, there was that... Um, I remember Serenity doing well with that spirit deck as well. Didn't he win? Like, um, the one with... Uh, yes, yes, I, she did not win with the spirit. Wait, did she win? Uh, oh, sorry. I think it was, no, no, she got top two. I don't think it was a win, was it? Uh, I don't know. The one with, um, Sousa Soldier. I know the deck you're talking about. I, uh... Everyone, everyone was absolutely convinced that that was you at that point. <laughs> everyone was like, yeah, I know Scully, I know Scully thought it was me, yeah. Well, by extension, like every. I instantly knew. To. I in, I hadn't been playing for a while, and I just happened to check the deck lists. And when I saw the deck, I instantly knew who it was because I know how she builds decks. So I, I like instantly knew that was her. Cool. Um, moving on to Brucette and Weird Champ from GFC three. Um, Weird Champ is doing a Dimension Fuse. Dimension Fusion Turbo deck. Uh, I want to say that this person's a relative no name, but like before you turn around and say he's a long time <laughs> format library mainstay, I don't recognize the name. He's like a lurker. Kind of like you. <laughs> he, 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 uh, I think he mainly plays other card games and goat format is like a. There's like a side thing that he entered. Potentially, he won't even turn up to this world. Well, he did register because he's on this list. These guys all said, I'm registering. I'm here to play. These aren't just the uh, qualifiers. So who knows? But yeah, it doesn't mean they signed up. Cool. Um, and who else is Bruce Set? Now, I see him around quite a lot. He was He's contacted me a couple of times. Um, yeah, I don't remember this. I don't remember this tournament, or I wasn't here for this tournament. Here's um, the coverage. I've PM'd it to you. But that looks like a quite standard list with uh, Exiled added. Yeah, that's Detox. Uh, not a fan of Exiled, but who knows why they were playing it. Um, they've PM'd me about some... Well, I shouldn't say that, but I've... I've uh, okay. I won't say that. I don't want to yeah, spoil don't, anything then. for the tournament. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, but I've talked to them. 
Yeah. I've talked to them. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to say. Oh, this was the one dust shoot list. I kind of like that. But I don't have much to say on this list. Like, I just don't have much to say. What about him as a person, though? I've only briefly talked to him. Like, one or two messages or three. Like, I did PM him, but that was it. Well, oh, they, he PM'd me and I replied and we had a little thingy and that was it. Okay, so GFC2... Um, the runner-up was Serenity, apparently. According according to GFC two coverage, the winner was Serenity. Uh, the runner-up, sorry, was Serenity. However, um, it also says the runner-up on here is Ricardo ninety eight. <laughs> so maybe like they've put Ricardo on there by like default, if you know what I mean. Like moved him up because serenity can't... yeah yeah Maybe. i mean that's the only explanation right uh, i don't know how they do it so um no, neither, no, i don't know what i don't i don't remember about. ricardo at all i no, remember neither. that list from serenity and i think serenity lost to a beatdown list if i recall who was that who uh won this tournament yeah i'm trying to find the the results here we go this might be it Oh, the person who won that tournament didn't um he didn't Pac-Man. register. Didn't he? Emperor of I don't see the GFC two winner on here. Oh right. So yeah, this is the world's okay. I haven't got the world's players up yet. Uh, the registered players. I'm just looking at the people who have um qualified at the moment. Oh. Um but this Emperor Emperor. Vidiate, uh that is definitely that that was definitely an alt account and um yeah that was definitely an alt account and they haven't registered. Right. It could be like ATP or something. It was Pac-Man. Uh the winner of that one. So oh, it was Pac-Man. So I guess the last person to speak about is Smoke. Yeah, I can the see how, I can see how spirits would have a hard time beating Pac-Man seeing as they can't keep monsters on the board. Yeah. <laughs> so um yeah, that's definitely an alt account. Okay. Um, so they, they probably already had an invite and didn't bother. Um, smoke, smoker. He plays a bit of um, money matches and luxury stuff, if I'm not mistaken. But I could be. Yeah, he's a luxury player. Yeah. Um, I used to play him in unrated before we had the ladder, and I never lost to him per se, or at least I can't recall ever losing to him. So I'm not too high on that guy, but he probably improved because he got a ton of results since the last time i played him okay or uh, or a result and a bunch of money well he, i've definitely seen him climb the ladder as well being when i was keeping an eye on that kind of thing mm. um i don't know what he was playing in gfa1 and i can't find it either but uh you know whatever <laughs> wow his ladder win rate is incredibly good yeah, so uh he's 150 wins to 45 losses so yeah he's probably really good I personally don't think I've ever lost to him, but not to like, not to like, feed my own ego. But that was a long <laughs> well. The discussion on you is coming up very shortly. We have to discuss me. Yeah. Uh, so, but before that, we have got Jazz. Like you think Jazz is in it to win it? Are Are we doing this in ascending order for the uh, FLCs? Because he won FLC one. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing an ascending order. I'm just going down the list of qualified people, and for whatever reason, it goes down. <laughs> it goes down from um, 10 to 1, and then up from 1 to 12 on the FLCs. So we'll go Jazz, who won first FLC. Oh, yeah. So Jazz is probably one of the smartest uh, GOAT format players there is. He's definitely going to be bringing GOAT control. I can guarantee that. Um, as to his specific list, he's hidden it. He has not shown yeah, any well, refinements he's made so far. We shouldn't, yeah. We shouldn't, like, us. we wouldn't have spoiled it anyway, would we? Like, um... No, no one, literally no one knows what he's going to bring, but everyone knows he's going to bring guilt control. There's no way he's going to bring a different deck. Why did you say that? He, is he the, said that um, himself? He is the... Oh, well, first of all, he stated that he knows that chaos, that that guilt control can consistently be chaos and that'll prove it. And then he's also known for being the guy uh, to be go control. Like, it's his trusty deck. 
he has the best results with pure control out of anyone I think I've known aside from uh, Chris. Okay. And yeah, I just I think it's like a hundred percent he's gonna play go control. He's just as to how he texts it out, um, it's is to be seen. Oh my goodness. I have just seen I've just like scrolled down the list. <laughs> Uh, we're not going to go through all of the uh, historic players, I don't think. We might like quickly go over them, but um... the historic players, I I don't know no, too neither. much about because when they were playing, I was like eight years old. Yeah. Uh, so Adam, well, this is dinosaur Ryuzaki. Like, um, I don't know how to pronounce his surname. Monk Zays, I think. Um, Adam Magnaya. Oh, Zayas. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, Monk Zaya, sorry no, about that. <laughs> but yeah, his. Um... Yeah, Ryuzaki won FLC 2 and hasn't done much since then. I don't believe so. I don't think he's gotten any results since then. Um, he was one of the earliest uh, kind of turbo. He was one of the earliest turbo jammers, and he always plays turbo. He had a weird trap lineup in FLC 2. I remember that. I remember really disliking his deck. And. Um, I generally don't have a. I'm not generally not super high on him, but who knows? No, neither. <laughs> I don't think he'll win. Um, I don't think we've got any coverage, so we can't even show the decks either. Uh, or it might be on Format Library's website, but I haven't navigated that before. Yeah. Um, and let me just quickly check. FLC has pretty comprehensive coverage of all their events. Okay, well, I'll just. Google it. You just need to go to their main page and start pressing the back button because there's no like category. Oh yeah, nah, screw that. FLC one. Well, it's well, it's worth oh, pulling no. them up. So give me one minute to do that, and then I'll I'll post a deck list in here. Is that, uh, no, it's okay. I've got it. And uh, yeah, I've just googled it. So Jazz won with. Um... Wait, no, that was oh they've got the Jazz play go control. Yeah. Jazz's got go control. I need to figure out how to pause this. And Jazz's slideshow thing. Jazz's um Jazz's innovation in that tournament for go control. I know this is super nerdy, but um at the time everyone was starting to play chaos, and they were like, "There's no way that go control can consistently be chaos." And Jazz um did a very simple side deck concept, which was, I think you can see Dekoichi is in his side deck, right? In that event, is that the one? Or do you see Dekoichi in his side? Who Jazz is? Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> uh, um, it's, a, it's a it's the wrong event. Sorry. One sec. Here's Never mind. The, um, here's the here's the coverage I'm looking at. So that was jazz. Ignore that. I was thinking of a different event. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um. Just quickly going back to Ryuzaki then. Uh, this was his. I'll quickly link it to you, but it looks like quite standard chaos. No thunder dragons, though. Oh no, there is thunder dragons. How did I miss that? <laughs> um, we. Oh no, I can't. I think I remember this. Maybe when poison of the old man is sided because they do Swiss instead of double elimination. Um, so. Yeah, they had time rules. They had time rules in these tournaments. We had time. Yeah, exactly. So they um, they've sided. It was freaking poison hilarious. Of the old man. Yeah, that is hilarious. <laughs> In my, uh, like, you know how time rules got abolished. You know how time rules got abolished in uh, on format library. I didn't. I haven't. Jazz Jazz lost to time in top eight, so we decided that <laughs> from now on there would be no time. Yeah, that's a uh, that's yeah, that's consistent with what I know of Jazz. <laughs> it's hilarious though. Dude, it's so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> anyway. Um, Moving on to yourself now. So let's have a look at your... Yeah, obviously the favorite to any event. Obviously, yeah, of course. <laughs> um... Ah, so here we go. It's a stool burn type of deck. The yeah, that was where I... I um... playing against. <laughs> so I'll give, I'll give the backstory on that for fun. So this was when Chaos... Chaos Turbo was starting to be spammed and like Chaos and like everyone's using Chaos Sorcerer. And all of my I was I was more casual, so all of my like fun deck concepts, because I was always making different decks, were getting uh crushed really hard by Chaos Sorc. So I was like, I'm so mad. I'm just gonna make a deck that will destroy Chaos Sorc. I'm gonna make it totally useless. None of my monsters are going to be 
annihilated by him and i'm just gonna build a strategy that circumvents everything chaos does back then chaos wasn't really playing like Raigeki breaker pwwb they had very they had very little uh st removal no one was playing like basically any st removal uh or really siding for burn so this was the event for burn to win um this is not something i'm going to be playing in the actual championship okay. um because it's not viable anymore but uh that's what i did play i was saying you've cut out a bit i think sorry uh what did you miss uh you just said you're not going to be playing it and oh yeah it's not that's not anymore. the event i'm going to be playing in that's not the deck i'm going to be playing in the event because it's not viable yeah um but that was the deck i did play and at the time it was a very good metagame pick do you fancy your chances at winning the world's event well I'll tell you what i've um I think you're cutting out again. Really? Hang on, one sec. How about now? Yeah, yeah, you're fine. It's just those twice you cut out. Okay, so anyway. Um, the account I've been using to test my deck, I think um, my win rate this season with this specific deck is over 80%. Oh, wow. Um... So I I think that it it all depends on it all depends on like my opening hands and stuff. But I think that in terms of like mechanical advantage, I think that my deck is poised to beat the field that we're going to be seeing. Well, there we go. But I'm not gonna say that I'm a great player because <laughs> I definitely have some skill issues in the mechanical sense that I'm not as good as like Jazz or KP or whoever. But yeah, but um, I, I think my deck. I think my deck is stationed to do very well, unless I run into gear feed. So don't play that. Oh god! Well, you've just given everyone, like, yeah, a everyone can run gear feed to specifically beat me and no one else. Everyone, well, not, I wouldn't say no one else, but yeah, everyone can run gear feed to specifically beat me. Well, yeah. And then they'll have a good chance of winning. Okay, well, I think you've got a decent chance. To be fair. I don't think you'll win. No offense. I I wouldn't <laughs> say, I, w I wouldn't say I have a huge chance at winning. But if I do win, it's going to be because my deck is absolutely broken. Okay. Well, that's what I think has to happen in order for someone to win. So. Yeah, that's fair. Right. Okay. FLC four. Is Sparky Flary. Uh, Sparky did not register. He did not register. He was playing gear free, so he'd have beaten you, no problem. I know he's. I know he's here, but he did not register. Uh. Um. If he were to register, if he were to register, this was a tournament he beat me in in top four. But so I'm salty. But if he were to register, um, he has one. He has one. I would say. He has one of these. Um. He has one of these tops, and he hasn't done anything since then. And he was playing aggro and got a bit of a high roll. I, I wouldn't place him that high, but I don't think he's going to play regardless. He never registered. Okay. Well, we'll move on quickly from him then. I was banned on the end. Uh, yeah, he's a, a very, very good... He's a very good player. I He was on my team, or um, a team I was spiritually advising as a uh, lifestyle coach in uh, 2018. <laughs> yeah. And he's a very good player, and he's old school, but... His deck builds are extremely strange. The deck that he won this tournament with was a uh, Chaos deck, meaning, I think, three Cold Waves. Right. God, yeah, um, I'm looking at it. He's got Grave Robber. God damn. <laughs> yeah, he's he's really he was really ahead of the times on all the tech. But yeah, he plays a lot of weird... plays a lot of very strange decks. Damn, I, I, was, I recently had a game against him on stream... Um, this was actually yesterday, and game one, it was he was playing reasoning. So, all right, game two, uh, I draw and he dust shoots me and sets five, and then he like draws no monsters and I just kill him. So I have no idea what he was playing, but he's probably gonna bring something weird. Hmm. And I think that he's gonna get stomped out by all the chaos decks if he brings something weird. But he's a really good player, like outside of the weird decks he makes. Okay. 
I hope he does bring something weird. Uh, what do you think? Sorry, I just want to like talk about Grave Robber as a card. It's a card I don't even. I've never even considered playing. Is it good? I think it's um, quite bad, right? <laughs> so the niche of Grave Robber is that in a Chaos Turbo Mirror, if you go first and you don't open No Woman of Cross Out or Trinity, but your opponent does, it can equalize the playing field. So um, it's basically like a fourth quadrinity piece in that um, if you open like a bad hand and your opponent opens a good hand, you can activate that, pay 2,000 LP, and then suddenly you have a good hand too. Um, I think I slightly would say the utility of that. Oh, also you can chain it to Faith's Effect to banish the spell they want. I mean, add the spell they want to your hand. But um, I would say the utility of that compared to like playing mind control in the same slot is virtually no. It comes up a little bit, but not much. Hmm. Okay. Um, I couldn't find anything on FLC6, which is Goat is Goat. I don't know who that is. Do you know Yeah, who they is? stopped doing coverage for FLCs for like five of them, so you're not going to really find anything else. Okay, right. Well, we'll move on to Spare, right? Um, Spare, I think... Like, he just randomly one day, like a couple of weeks ago, quit. <laughs> yeah, he like, did not register for this tournament. He was like, yeah, he was like really all up for it, and then like all of a sudden... He just he went crazy and left. So I don't yeah, know what happened. That's, there. What, that's what you said. It's Yu Gi Oh. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, exactly. So um, he's married, so I'm sure he's enjoying his time away from the game. Yeah, I don't think he of cares. Course. But he would. But like, it looks like he was playing an MMF Abyss Soldier deck. Uh, so yeah, nothing really. Well, MMF about. did create that, but I don't think it's an MMF deck anymore. It's kind of standard, kind of. Is yeah. it? Well, I don't know. I th I th always think of it as an MMF deck. If I see a yeah. Biz Soldier in Go Control, I think MMF. So that that's the only reason. But like, um, all right, that's fair. But yeah, King Go Control. I know what you're saying. Go with the Biz. Noel, um, she hasn't been seen in a long time. I don't think she's registered, right? Noel did not register, but she is active. She's just not playing good. She's not playing good format. Yeah, yeah. But um, just if you are interested, I've got the deck here. This was the reasoning. It's a gate. reasoning, right? Yeah, reasoning gate with um... that deck was absolutely um, oppressive when she was playing it. She would like she could not lose with that deck on this server. Uh, GoFormat.com. She was ranked number one for the longest time playing that. Yeah, uh, but so... nowadays I think people know how to play against that, and that's not really a favorite deck in the meta game. People crushed people playing that deck list every day like on the ladder mm. but for its time that was an insanely good deck and noelle is a very good deck builder and good player but yeah i wish she would come yeah, back yeah. i never actually really got to um, interact with her at all um but like she's I very she was she is there. very cool um the i have Nano. not talked to her in a long time but i was really good friends with her but i have not talked to her in like two years the nano um like he's another yeah, one he's gonna bring something weird yeah exactly he's one of these weird congrats on the nano. like he's he's one of these weird players again he like brings low crap winning FLC i don't like his decks well you may not but like he he was quite creative um without like i mean now he's kind of gone like the weird and wacky route but he used to be creative within um within the bounds of like meta decks if you know what i mean yeah in terms of competitive decks it, now he's kind of like expanded into being a bit like a bit crazy <laughs> but um it, the deck list i've got here is his aggro deck um yeah it was the it was the, it was the dd survivor thingy there's no um let's have a look or did he cut that he looks like I played him back. on the I played him on dueling book like a week before that event before I quit uh again and he was playing DD Survivor and Card of Sanctity. Hmm. Well it looks uh DD's what oh wow. <laughs> um Really? <laughs> yeah. Did that work? Um well I, I beat him in our match. I don't know how it tested for him, but he cut it, so probably not. Well, this is what was considered um, Chaos Warriors. You mean, a chaos, you mean like a Chaos style deck, right? 
Yeah, it was a chaos style deck. It had DD Assailant, DD Warrior Lady, Don's Look. It had like okay. it, had, it was like a toolbox, but with chaos. It was all the DDs, yeah. So we cut the DD survivors in the end. Well, I don't know. DD survivor doesn't look as if it has a place in this deck. That I'm all right, right now. Yeah, just the DD deck. Um, in fact, I'll just screen share you so you can just see what I'm seeing. Uh, no, that will destroy my internet. Okay, I don't will do not that. do that. <laughs> okay. Um, um, but yeah, this is what. Uh, Whatever whatever it was, I'm sure that he will not play it in yeah. the event. Well, it was Chaos Warriors, but it's not the Chaos Warriors we know today. And which Yeah, it was like of... a prototypical one. Well, I mean, like, uh, we'll move on to Geisty, which is who... Yeah, if you want to talk about the actual Chaos Warriors we know today, uh, this guy created it. Yeah. This, this was, like, one of the biggest um, upsets of the... Like, the biggest innovations of uh, 2020, I think. Geist will do either this or Chaos Turbo, and either way, he's going to be hard to beat, especially if he's lucky, and he's often lucky. <laughs> uh, yeah, very good player. Plays on Luxury a lot for money. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, in GFCs, he hasn't been doing too hot. Three Grand Ninja Sasuke's, um, that's, that was where it started here. It started right yeah. with Geist D. He's the pioneer of that, and he identified the problems with that deck and fixed it, so... Yeah, and what beat. were the problems with that deck? Like, I mean, one less... You know, like, defensive stuff and yeah. stuff like that. Uh, not reliable access to BLS because you're playing Earth Monsters and, you know, like, just random stuff like that. Mm -hmm. He fixed pretty much everything. And then he went on to destroy everyone for, like, two months. Yeah. Like, literally, he was destroying everyone for two... I think he won He won two tournaments back-to-back, -to -back, didn't he, not? He did, yes. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's incredible. That's a really, Wasn't really it high a, I think it was an FLC and then a GFC, or, or a vice versa. Yeah. Uh, and um, a similar achievement is Ptran XP as well. Like, he didn't quite win two tournaments, but he topped one and then had to drop out due to... Um, Oh, I don't know, due to our commitment. So he made the top four, dropped out. He won the next one. And then I think he was on... I think he topped the next one as well. So I think he topped three tournaments. I could be wrong on that. I don't want well, to say without, like, um, you know... Whatever it is, it's, it, that's roughly true. He's very he's impressive. On team. I, he's, I on, remember, he's on Dale's team. He's a good player. And, I actually know. think he's more impressive than Geist. Like, um... I think he's top the ladder as well. Um, I think that Geist is more impressive because of his ingenuity and his creativity and how he defined the format. Possibly, when Petran yes. is playing Jazz's uh, turbo deck. I mean, yeah, okay, fine. He may be less creative, but his accomplishments as a player, I think, are higher. He's a he's he has a he has well, I I would say they're fairly equal. Potentially equal, but if I if I, they were to play against Geist each other D, right now, I Geist has never seriously. Geist has never seriously tried to ladder on the ladder. Okay, but if like, he did, he would probably be able to get pretty high too. I would still put my money on Petran, even if we took the ladder out of the equation. Like, uh, <sighs> in fact, I think if we're looking at who I think's going to win, I think it's going to be Petran. That's my bet. I think he's going to Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. That's quite interesting. Yeah. Like, um, like not I don't who know I want to win, gonna... but I think he may. I think, oh, to be fair, Jazz has got a good chance as well. But I think, reckon Petran will beat Jazz. Like, I mean, well, let's, 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 do, let's do the whole list and let's discuss who I think is going to win after that. That seems better so we can cover everyone. Okay, yeah. Well, that w Petran was the last on the list that I wanted to cover. Out of the historic players, I can have a look quickly. There's well, no names that I know. So... Well, let's take a look at... Um, that was Chris few of the other people. Because there's... First of all, there's James400, a.k.a. Mark. Oh, yeah. He is a, he's an extremely consistent player. He talks a lot in the uh, yeah. GOAT server as well. He was extremely high-ranked on the server Discord ladder, and he's a very uh consistent player on the new ladder as well yeah no so um, we do need to talk about ladder players i completely forgot about that 
Um, now he's gonna be—he's definitely gonna be playing his um, chaos control. Like he's convinced it's the best deck. He's convinced he is the best version of that deck. He's put up results with it in terms of uh, mathematical win rate, I think, and it's a safe bet to say he's gonna do that. I think the, with some tech, that level of confidence, like like Jazz and James's confidence of yeah, I have the best deck and I am going to win and I will prove it. I think that's kind of required. Like, uh, even if it does sound a bit cocky, I think you need that kind of belief in yourself if you're going to win such a competitive game. Hey, I also, I also think I have the best deck. Yeah, I know, but you, you already, like, you've already kind of put yourself down. You're like, I don't think I have the best chance of winning. I know this. It's on record. Yeah. <laughs> Those but, are two different things. Yeah, but like... like, people, like people like James are better players than me. Like, speaking for gameplay perspective, I've played with Chaos Control and I could not win more than 66% of the time. His natural win rate is like over 70%. Yeah, I think James has a very good chance of winning as well. Um, um, and he tests a lot. He's probably one of the most serious players about this format. His old team on Duelist Grounds was called All The Outs. And they were the... Uh, I think they were the team that won the entire War League when we were warring, or they were had the best record. It was one of the two. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. Well, yeah. I. Rickler. Rickler. Well, like he, he, in the middle of like, at the beginning of 2020, I think he, just was like quite up and coming, and like it he's a lot. Like, of, he's you know, a lot of tops in actual Yu-Gi-Oh, and he is playing always Chaos Turbo, and playing it quite well. Um, I don't really have much more to say. It's a Chaos Turbo. I'm kind of biased against Chaos Turbo because I don't really like it. So I don't have much to say. He's like one of those Chaos Turbo guys to me. But uh, definitely has a chance to win. Yeah. Um, although he's not been doing as well as he was at the beginning of the year. Like he tops two ladders, I think. Uh, like he, well, yeah. <laughs> His ladder results are more or less the same right now. He was really high last season and this season he's quite high. Uh, Maskis. Yeah, Mascus, um, one of my favorite players, one of my favorite deck builders. Mm -hmm. uh, not sure exactly what he's going to bring. It could be a bunch of different things. He's been testing a lot of different decks. Um, so I don't even think he's decided yet, but uh, I think he's very good, and I think he has a shot. Um, and I don't have much more to say than that. Oh, uh, he's another one of like my fellow commentators who's like really helpful and like starting out a conversation yeah he's great for he's great for commentating and making videos he is yeah oh um, my goodness he's so talented and i want to quickly um promote on this. my goat stats on my head-to-heads um in the beginning of the modern era when i was um on my head-to-heads versus various players i usually was not worse than 50 percent against any player except for him i was like zero and five against him he always beat me i could never beat him yeah yeah well he's <laughs> I've not. I think I've played him like once and lost predictably. Um, there was a tournament where I was in winners. I was in. Uh, I was in grand finals on the winner's side with monarchs, and he was playing a uh, skilled magician chaos, and he just like four owed me from mm -hmm. the loser's side. And just quickly, I want to promote his YouTube channel, Dueling on Earth, because it's really cool. Um, yeah, he has good videos on there. He has a match analysis against one of my alt accounts, which I will not say which one it is, but he does. And it was a good game. Cool. Um, right. Turner. Turner. Don't know him. He's a professional Hearthstone player from Italy. He's right. good at TCG. Okay. I just wanted to say that. he's uh, He was playing quite well when he was laddering, and his result showed for it, and then he just stopped playing. Is he registered? Yeah, he's registered. Okay, cool. Uh, NB96. Um, I always saw him as not very good. Cool. Furfwell. I don't know anything about him. Um, yeah, he was around again near the beginning of the year, but um, like a few, like he had like a few arguments on Discord, and then I haven't seen him since. Which is a shame. Yeah, I haven't guy. I haven't seen him around or anything. Did he register? Um, I don't know. Doesn't look like it. I, I don't see him on this list. Right. 
Um, I think that's. I think we've got everyone from the ladder who is registered. Cool. Um, Chris, do you want to go? Sorry, do you want to go through the rest of the ladder people anyway? Uh, I don't want to go through like everyone. I just want to go through. There's a few names that you know have stuck out. To sure, me go ahead. Wanted. Chris Perovic, obviously. Um, yeah, my pick to win. My pick. Well, we'll talk about that later. He's a very good player, and I'm going to yeah. elaborate on why I think he will win. When we talk about who's going to win. Okay, yeah. We're, we're, like Chris will obviously be spoken about. MMF. Uh, very good at creating decks to counter metas. Uh, knows very good metagame calls. Empty Jar Fanatic may play that, but who knows. Mm. Cool. Yeah, Another I've, one of my I've only ever lost to MMF, never beaten him. That's pretty good. <laughs> Well, I, like... I'm, I think I'm. I think I. I think I am up on MMF in like ranked matches. The, but I, I was. We used to play a lot back in when it first started. We were both net decking Chris's uh, recruiter list, and we would just play recruiter mirrors all day. And then I started using like weird decks. Like once I uh, got morphing jar uh, and protector of the sanctuary off against him, and he instantly quit the entire match, not just the game. <laughs> I, I'm trying to think of who I've who I'm up on this on this entire list. There is only one person on this list that I think I'm up on, and that is Jazz. Who's that? <laughs> oh, Jazz. Yeah, well, yeah, I've I think I've played him once, and then I I completely stole a game. He was very very mad. <laughs> yeah, he gets heated. Yeah, you know how he Jazz did. gets. He gets very angry. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was absolutely hilarious. But yeah, that's um that's my only. Uh, person I uh, let me just check on dueling book to be sure. I don't I don't want to give some false information. Um, dual records. And then uh, we should talk about Insidious. Oh yeah, Insidious. Um, he qualified ages ago from a tournament on Reddit from before the revival, but he's been here uh, ever since the revival started. Uh, quite a good player. Uh, high skill cap. He tested a lot with the team that I was the spiritual guru for uh, back in the warring days. It was ESPN or uh, now Damage Step. He's on both. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and he's just he's a solid guy as well. He will sometimes jump on, jump on commentary. He ended up having an infatuation with Chaos Turbo last time I saw him. And I hope he doesn't bring that because I don't think it's super poised to win. No, I think everyone needs to bring uh, something that you, something unlinear at least. I don't think you can rely on chaos. Turbo I think there, the I think there's going to be a lot of turbo. I think, unfortunately, I think there's going to be a lot of turbo. Um, Le Bounty? That's a uh, SJC player, Jonathan Le Bounty, and he has a lot of SJC tops. Mm -hmm. So I could say he has SJC tops. He's... Yeah, uh, I haven't spoken to him much personally. I know him as. Uh, you know, like one of Scully's friends that he knows in real life. Hey, do you want to talk about the people that recently qualified through the 100-person Italian event? Oh, right. Yeah, I didn't follow that at all. I wasn't even aware it was taking place. Um, I And Calcifer posted the um, deck lists on the server, so let's see if we can find it. Um... On this list here, there's no one else that really stands out to me, or no one that I know. Um, the two people that are Italians um, don't have any creds next to their name. Like, it doesn't say the event that they won, but it is uh, the go from an Italia event. Where is... What, is it on the... Oh, right, I see on the spreadsheet, you mean. Yeah, no, I see them. So, like, uh, yeah. Progress and Fabio King 94. Go yes, I, I found their list. I'm pulling them up right now. It's such a shame that, like, there's some... There seems to be some beef with the Italian community for whatever reason. Because, like, that's incredibly impressive to win. I mean, I know someone had to do it. Is there? But... Huh? Well, I don't know. It feels like it. Like, um... 
I feel like Calcifer's always getting, like, nonsense thrown at him. <laughs> but, you know. That, well, that's just uh, from what I've observed. And, like, unfortunately, I know there's a couple of, like, cheaters in the Italian community that everyone points to, and then they blame the Italian community for that. <laughs> it's like, um... What was his name? Spiripricos or whatever. Like, he was found out to be cheating or whatever, and then people like blamed. Him. Okay, Italians are infamous in Yu-Gi-Oh for cheating. Like, not just go format. Well, they're them with savage cheaters. Okay, well, but you can't cheat online. You so can. it's fine. <laughs> okay, there is a uh, there is a video deck profile of the winner who played Reasoning Gate. Um, but I can't find a picture of it. So That's if you want to, if you, if you want to find it later and like edit it in, you can, but yeah, the winner of that tournament played reasoning gate and second place played, um, I don't know. My internet is not loading the picture. What, um, so reasoning gate, what kind of reasoning gate was it a Noel style reasoning gate or was it like a more, you know, the, creator? you know, I haven't watched the video and I have no idea. I just know it was Reasoning Gate. Okay. In that case, I, w I wish they posted the picks of, uh, to make it easier. Um, do you want to go through who you think is going to win then? I don't know how long we've been, but I think we've been, yeah, it's like... Even like an hour, but yeah, let's do who's going to win. So let's go you first, because I've been talking a lot. So how about you? Okay, so Petran SP uh, is who I think is going to win. Or Chris Perovic. I do. I think that's a very solid call. <laughs> like, so you uh, think it's Petran or Chris? Yes, I do believe it is either one of them too. Um, so, so um, why Petran? Because all of his um, gameplay has been, I believe, with Chaos Turbo, right? And I think everyone is going to be super hard uh, targeting the crap out of that. So. I'm I'm wondering why you think his chances are so good. Do you I'm think he's not, gonna like play something else or? I I don't think. Um, well, you say that things are gonna be targeted for Chaos Turbo, but we don't really know that, right? You because if that's everyone, my suspicion. If everyone's thinking that way, then maybe it's the smart thing to plan against the plan. <laughs> so you don't really. I don't think you can honestly, unless they've revealed their list excuse me i don't think you can really predict what anyone's gonna bring i'm certainly i mean wrong. you you can you can target chaos turbo with pretty much any standard list with like a revised side deck so i'm gonna say that like turbo is going to be heavily covered in people's side decks not just talking about the main deck choice mm -hmm. um definitely we see a lot of mind controls and such uh dust shoots probably dust shoot is gonna be omnipresent um i i don't know if someone who's jamming turbo this tournament is going to have like a really good chance of winning i'm i have picked my picks based on the player yeah. rather than what lists i think they're going to bring yeah um, it's it, it's just an interesting conversation because i've i've never i know he's a great player but i haven't seen him play anything else so it's a little it's a little hard to say how i feel about his chances perhaps like there is um no one that can beat Chris's experience either. Yeah, Chris is my number one pick to win too. Um, he tests a wide variety of his decks. Oh, that his is team huge, by the way. has like a deck vault of like every possible deck in the format refined to like a very high level. Like when I um, when I played my Drain Burn deck in FLC3, like one day after I won, uh, Wynus posted their, their version of it from their vault and it was like six cards off from mine and i think that mine was a bit better but um it was like six cards off from my list and he said that they didn't release it because they didn't want to ruin the format but they have like every deck how to play against every deck um chris is a very competent pilot of any deck his natural win rate is insane his tournament results are insane he's he just entered a tournament after not playing for the longest time and he won it and then um back in the super old summer league or the or the old war league he won the tournament by going uh, twenty and zero until finals with goat control. He beat he won twenty matches in a row, and then he lost to Jazz once in the final, but beat him twice. 
or beat him once. Yeah, I think you've tapped into something quite important there as well that um, is not done by a lot of players, and that is, yeah, like Chris has played every single deck. He's built every single deck. He knows every single deck inside and out, even the rubbish ones. (laughs) And yeah, it's like you said, it's all refined to a high standard. You can't, there's nothing you can do to really beat that. Like, uh, well, like I'd, say that people, I'd, I'd say that people can beat him with some luck, but it's going to be super hard to take him down. I would put him at like extreme, extreme favorite. But then again, not to just... like say that he's not to say he is unbeatable, but like his pedigree speaks for itself. Jazz is a similar situation though. Like he maybe not refined to the same extent, but he's put a lot of time testing into a lot of. Um, a lot of cards and uh, you know a lot of types of decks so you see that's kind of like what separates these newer players from the revival players like they've put the uh research into the nth degree talking about people who are super good at refining decks uh the turbo thing that Sioski played that um everyone uh eventually net deck thereafter and modified jazz made that two years ago two years ago absolutely insane yeah so like jazz i think as well i think you'd be remiss not to mention jazz yeah kp and jazz are famous sparring partners i think they're in a testing circle together i think they're testing for sure um i think jazz well actually i don't know if jazz would admit that kp is better than him because jazz um <laughs> i don't recently think played much of, yeah i don't know if jazz would admit that kp is better than him. I think jazz sees himself as being equal to kp i think kp is slightly better I but I'm not, I'm actually not jazz. sure because I haven't seen the play in a long time. Yeah, like um I tell you, KP's got like the, the psychological element of it down as well. Like when I played him, I was he was running circles around me. He he would literally tell me what's Dude, in my hand. <laughs> like, when you're playing those guys, like they draw six cards and it feels like they have twenty cards in their hand. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. I like I would like once played against Jazz and I duoed heavy out of his hand turn one and like something else. It, they were like two really good cards. And then like I just narrowly beat him that game and then he just won the match. Hmm. Another well, person who plays to such a high degree in a control mirror is WGM, but uh, we don't need to talk about it because he's not playing. Indeed. Um, Geist. You think he's going to win? Well, no, he's just someone I wanted to sorry. mention. Like, well, Let's mention, okay, so I'll mention five, okay, a few more people, just a few more. There's obviously Dale, uh, Dale, yeah. um, again, okay, so Dale is another one of these people who's got the confidence as well, you know what I was talking about earlier, says so like, I think I can beat pretty much all the player base, Yeah, I've got that best chance and the best decks, so he's got that confidence. Yeah, they um, also have this aura around them that makes you kind of be intimidated and maybe misplay and second guess your judgment yes, because you're like, that is a oh, real he's thing. Oh, do some pro play. If I do the standard play, I need to do something else. Or... Indeed, yeah. Geist, Dale, Petran, KP, Jazz, MMF. I think. Yeah, they're all they're all very good picks. Like, um, even like people. I want to say like Suski, but I still think like. These other players are just still a step above. I don't. Like, I don't Dream know. If, I don't know. If, I don't know if Silski is on like a godlike level. No, exactly. Silski is on very high level. James Fox. But he is. I would not. I would. He's not like. He doesn't come to mind when I think about like extreme godlike players. Exactly. You know? Yeah. No. I but think, like, yeah. he's he's the second tier. What about James? Uh, for me, he's like he's probably nearly up there as well. Nearly. Yeah, he's he's good. I don't think quite the same level though. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty much exhausted now on what to say. So, anything else you want to add? Um, let me see if we've missed anyone who I think uh, may win. Yeah, this this video is going to be a lot of scrolling. Apologies in advance. Also, though, like just to talk about World Gone Mad quickly. He's a really good player. I don't think he's again. I don't think he's one of these people like on the same level as Jazz, etc. Nearly there. So um, I'm like the James four hundred kind of level. People don't realize it, but um, 
during the Dark and Dragon tournament, when I had qualified for the top eight on an alt account, um, I collaborated with him on the deck list we used for that, and I would test with him, and he would teach me things, and he was like in this in this mirror when he uh, when he uh, when we knew each other's deck lists. He was literally unstoppable. I couldn't take a single match off of him, and we played like countless matches, and he would win every time. I don't know if that is just like I am terrible or if he's really great, but people don't realize this about him. He's the first person that made me realize that this is a strategy game and that if you know every card in all of your opponent's decks, like maybe say a top eight field with a list to reveal, and you really plan your deck out and your uh, strategy... I firmly believe that you could like get a like ninety percent plus win rate in that field. I and the reason that I'm saying that is because that's what I felt like we were we were doing right then. Okay. Although I qualified instead of him and I misplayed, so our prep didn't amount to anything. <laughs> but our prep was extremely good. If I didn't misplay, that prep was like utterly yeah. insane. We tested against every other person's deck and yada yada. But yeah, like he whooped me countless times. Countless times. I I've, I've beaten him a lot with like my troll decks when he doesn't realize what I'm doing. Yeah. But um, but you see that's the like, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Hold up, that's that's literally what I'm saying right there. KP would beat you with your troll decks. Do you know what I'm saying? Like that's the difference <laughs> yeah. between these types of players. Like uh, KP knows the troll decks. So like that, that's what I'm yeah, saying. W- I'm not w- saying he's not w- a very w- good player. Has WGM has a tendency to get caught out against unknown decks, and I'll say that I think that he's a extremely high level player in the uh, context of a control mirror. But when it starts to become uh, decks with more like variants decided, he has like a lower win rates than KP or Jazz. Cool. But like in terms of a control mirror, I think he's as good as them. Hmm. Anyone else? Uh, Mascus for me, but may- maybe people won't agree. He well, doesn't have as many results as other people, but from playing him, I think that, yeah, okay. for me, it's him. I, yeah, Mascus is a once, not a think <laughs> for me. Like, um, I'm lucky in the sense that Dale is both a want and a think. <laughs> so, um, yeah, maybe Mascus is more of a want for me, but I do believe in him. Yeah, why no. do you why do you want Dale to win? Don't you think he has enough accomplishments? No, Dale can Dale can. He's such a nice guy, and he's helped me out so much that he's oh, because like, he coached you so much. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, he's like a, um, you know, he's a buddy. So yeah, anyone I I don't I don't pick Dale for want to win because, like I said, I want someone from the 2017 era, from back when we were all uh, going on this revival adventure and starting to really refine the decks out and figure everything out. I want one of those people to win. And that would be all the people that I personally listed. Cool. Well then, that's that. Yeah, that was a that was a crazy sesh. That was really fun. Thanks for inviting me to do this uh thingy. I really people are going to realize how much of a nerd I am. Even though I'm mostly having appearance of someone who's trolling a lot. I think too much about this guilt format. I would like to have you on videos more frequently. I just can't rely on you not going, oh, yeah, I'm taking a break. <laughs> but, like, seriously, if you want to do more videos with me, I'd be really happy to, like, do another podcast with you. That that was so... Yeah. That flowed so naturally and everything. It was really great. So after this, um, after this tournament, I will be gone for probably three months or more. But I'm planning on coming back next year after this semester of school. I just need to really focus and get used to it because I'm not good at school. Oh, yeah. But once I get it under control, um, let's talk then and we'll do some more vids. I think that after this tournament, I'm not going to play as much, but I think I want to kind of take on like a more commentator role or something like that. For sure. In that case, then, um, until next time, I'll go off the air now. But the to quickly end on the details of the tournament, October 24th, um, and it's going to be a one-day event. I will, uh, yeah, guys. It's uh, basically in a week. Don't miss this. Yeah. Be sure you're on Twitch and YouTube. <laughs> exactly. And uh, it's, uh, Is it only streamed on YouTube or also Twitch? I, I'm going to try and get YouTube sorted out this time as well. Oh, can I can I plug 
uh, myself and myself in the description too. You can plug yourself now and in the description. Go I'm ahead. gonna I'm gonna be streaming my matches on a 10 minute delay on my Twitch. If you want to watch from my perspective and see the uh, deck that I cooked up, and my Twitch channel is uh, twitch.tv slash. 0713 just the letters uh just the number 0713 it's my birthday cool all right then and um, i'll save the video of that if you want to watch it after the official coverage yeah no worries well, well yeah we might even have we might even be able to go over that afterwards as well if you want to yeah and see um wrong, like in a video yeah I mean, yeah why not I, yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be super long so yeah, well, know. so was this. So, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> maybe a maybe a series, yeah, or maybe just like the last match I played. I want to say or finals, but match. probably not finals. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's all. See you later.